It was a jolly evening in Toyland. Mrs. Noah was giving one of her wonderful parties. Oh, oh dear me. These chairs, Mrs. Noah, <laughs> they're not very strong, you know. <laughs> Bad luck, Jumbo. I'm afraid you're out. Carry on, Tessie Bear. I'm not. <laughs> Thank you, Noddy. You are kind. Tessie Bear's the winner! Bye-bye, <laughs> Mrs Noah. Thank you for a lovely party. Goodness me, Tessie. Isn't it dark? Oh, here's the car. Get in and I'll take you straight home. Thank you, Noddy. You are kind. <laughs> You're driving very slowly, Noddy. It's so dark. I must be very careful. And I must let everyone know we're on the road. Oop, oop, oop. What a funny noise your hooter made. It usually says, Bark, bark. Yes, it was strange. Oop, oop, oop. Perhaps it's caught a cold and lost its proper voice. I don't like this. Oop, oop. Ooh, I think somebody's taken your hooter and given you another. What's going on? Strange magic things happen at night, you know. Look out, Noddy. Someone's waving at us. That's one of Mr Straw's ducks. She looks very worried. She's trying to tell us something. I think she wants us to follow her. A midnight adventure. What a strange magic thing. What's the matter, duck? <gasps> Look, Noddy. The moon has fallen into the pond. What a strange magic thing. <coughs> Poor duck. She's cross because she can't swim in the pond when the moon is <coughs> in it. I'd like to catch the moon and pull it out of the pond. But look, there's a fishing net. You could catch the moon in that. Thank you, Tessie. You are clever. Don't worry, duck. I'll soon get that moon out of your pond. There. Got you. Uh, oh, dear. The moon's still in the pond. This moon is very tiresome. Moon, let me catch you. You might drown in the pond. Careful, Noddy. Oh, 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 nearly. Oh, Noddy, try again. I'm going to fall in. It's no good, duck. I just can't catch it. I shall have to bring help tomorrow and try again. Did you hear that? My car's hooting at us. But Noddy, it was your car's proper hooter. It went, park, park. The thief must have brought it back. Come along, Tessie. I'll see you tomorrow, duck. Oh, no. We're too late. The thief's driving your car away. But did you see that hat he was wearing? That thief is a wizard. I told you strange magic things happen at night. Come back, wizard. Bring my car back. Come back. Oh, he's driven off with my flowers. Come back. Come back, thief. Thief, come back. Hey, come back, thief. Now then, young Noddy, what's all this shouting about? I'm sorry. But there are strange magic things going on. My hooter has changed its tune. Tessie's flowers have been stolen. The moon has fallen into Mr Straw's pond. And now a wizard has driven off in my car. Calm down, young Noddy. Oh, it's all true, Mr Plod. <coughs> There's your car, my lad. Where, I dare say, you left it. Now, get off home, you two, and let's have no more of wizards and strange magic things. Falling moons, indeed. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, perhaps Mr. Plod's right. Perhaps there aren't any strange magic things. Perhaps it will all make sense in the morning. Hmm. Now
Now let me see. It's morning, so do any of the strange magic things that happened last night make sense? No, they don't. Right, I'm off to catch the moon. Oh goodness, it's raining. If that silly moon is still floating about in Mr Straw's pond, I'm sure it'll drown. I need some help. I need big ears. <laughs> I don't know why you find it so funny, Big Ears. The moon is going to drown. It can't swim, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Noddy, but you really mustn't worry about the moon. <laughs> it will be quite safe. How do you know? It won't be safe if that duck gets cross with it and starts pecking at it. <laughs> then it'll have oh, holes in me. it and it'll sink to the bottom of the pond. Oh, Noddy, you stay with me today and... Have tea. Thank you. And after tea, we'll go to Mr Straw's farm just before it gets dark, and I'll show you that the moon really is quite safe. Thank you, Big Ears. You are kind. It's dark now. The moon! The moon's in the pond again. This time, I'm going to catch it in my hands. Big Ears, what are you doing? I'm trying to catch the moon. I want to rescue it before it drowns. Noddy, the moon is quite safe. <sighs> now, look up into the sky and tell me what you see there. I see the moon, of course, but I want to... Big ears! It's in the pond, too. I can see it. You look in every pond and every puddle and you'll see a moon in every one. But not the real moon. You will only be seeing reflections of the moon, like the reflections when you look in the mirror. It still looks like a strange magic thing to me. Now then, what's all this quacking about? Oh, it's quite all right, Mr. Flod. I was showing young Noddy here that the moon is safe up in the sky and that it's not drowning at all. <laughs> you and your strange magic things. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were strange magic things. My hooter was swapped round and a wizard drove off in my car. That wasn't a wizard. That was Mr Sparks. Wearing his wizard hat from the party. <laughs> his wizard hat. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> it was so dark after the party, you drove off in his car by mistake. So he drove off in your car. Then, when he saw his own car by the road, he swapped from your car into his car and drove off in that. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. I thought it was a strange magic thing. And Mr. Sparks said, if, if I saw you or Tessie Bear, would I please give you back the flares? She won at the party. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Plod. But I'm sure strange magic things do happen at night, you know. I'm sure they do. <laughs>